Well, I've been through three countries today. France, Belgium, Holland, and all that before breakfast. And now I've arrived for breakfast in a fourth country, Germany, to the town of Aachen, with its medieval defences still in workable state, provided you don't mind the gaps in the walls. But that isn't what Aachen is famous for. Aachen is famous for one man, Charles the Great. Probably better known to us as Charlemagne, Charlemagne was born either in Aachen or at nearby Liège and he made Aachen his capital, the capital of an empire that stretched all the way from the coast of the English Channel, the Atlantic, down into Spain, right up to Denmark, right across to the borders of the Byzantine Empire and down into the northern part of Italy, perhaps even as far as Rome. There were several attempts at rebellion, at revolt against his rule, they were all put down ruthlessly. But tempered with the iron was a good deal of common sense. His laws became the basis for the laws of France and Germany. And also religion. Learning and religion went hand in hand. Alcuin of York, the great scholar, became his chief uh, cleric, if you like the man who led in a revival of learning here in um, Aachen. Unfortunately, Charlemagne's name is blotted these days by the fact that he engaged in a good deal of forced conversion. When he conquered the Saxons, he forced them on pain of death to become Christians. And we today would regard that as abhorrent. Charlemagne, on the other hand, appears to have been quite proud of it, rather like you might be if you came across someone attempting suicide by jumping off a bridge. You wrestled them to the ground, prevented them by force from jumping over and killing themselves. Well, Charlemagne regarded these people, these Saxons, as on their way to hell, to damnation because of their pagan religion, and he forcibly saved them. So he regarded it as rather a good thing. It just shows how you can't judge the people of one time by the standards of another. But let's go into Aachen and see some of the remains that do exist from the time of Charlemagne. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to welcome you to Aachen Cathedral, one of the finest and oldest churches in Germany, founded in the time of Charlemagne, and a church which has been the coronation church uh, through more than 600 years in Germany. In the heart of old Aachen is the cathedral, or the Dom, parts of which are indeed very old and may date back to the time of Charlemagne and his teacher, Alcuin of York. The oldest part of the cathedral is the octagon in the middle where you have beautiful mosaics very much in the Byzantine style showing among other things the four rivers of paradise. Euphrates, Tigris, Gihon and Pison with the city of God in the middle and right up high in the dome you have Christ enthroned in majesty. The church houses two beautiful gold reliquaries. The nearer one contains the usual sort of stuff that one might expect. 
the clothes of the Virgin, the swaddling clothes of the baby Jesus, and even the cloth stained with the blood of John the Baptist when he was beheaded. Well, I think we know what to make of such relics. But in the further reliquary is believed to be the bones of Charlemagne himself. And it's highly likely that they are genuine and they are indeed the bones of the great emperor. I wonder what he would make of his city today.